Okay, and the last point I really want to emphasize is when you're looking at these different translations, you also want to look at the punctuation. For example, the verse, and death thou shalt be no more, semicolon, and death thou shalt die, versus the comma. Yes? Um, what does that even mean? Okay, I'll write this up for you. So if you take that particular verse, and you look at the difference that that punctuation makes, you'll see that Dunn is actually making a statement about death. So, one of the translations, for example, will have death capitalized. One of them will have death not capitalized. Or John Dunn will have a semicolon where there's comma in another translation. So, the phrase that I really want you to focus on is, and death thou shalt be no more, semicolon, and death thou shalt die, and then there's, and death thou shalt be no more, with the death underlined. With these two differences, with the capitalization or the punctuation, your response paper should cover how that expresses John Donne's depiction. Okay. I'm sorry. You should be, we don't have texting in class. Okay, well, we're done with our time today, but I do want you guys to focus on this over the weekend, so please do read it, and I'll see you next week. So what is this athlete aid option thing? Well, it's at Coverly, and it's around 7, and you should definitely come. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I think there are videos from YouTube up from last year if you want to check that out. But I don't play any sports. Isn't it like an athlete's only thing? No, it's totally fun. You should definitely come, and the money's for a good cause. The money supports these kids whose parents have had cancer, and the camp is called Camp Kesson. I had an opportunity to work there last year, and I enjoyed it a lot. Our team's actually cooking a dinner and auctioning it off to the highest bidder. Okay, will you be there? Yeah, for sure. All right. I'm so glad you're here. Okay, now I can tell you all. Guess what happened today? Does this have something to do with that cute athlete in your section? Did you finally talk to him? Better than that. Okay, so there's this athlete date auction going on at Coverly, and his team's gonna be up to date. So I was really hoping we could all go together because it would be a lot of fun, and I'm sure he has some really, really cute teammates. I mean, it's a water polo team. Wait, I thought you got a date at a date auction. What kind of auction is this? It's a little different. Okay, so you don't bid on one person, but you bid on the entire team. And all the proceeds go to this camp called Camp Kesson. Let me see. He said something about YouTube videos. Here we go. Okay, so the proceeds go to this camp called Camp Kesson, which is for kids whose parents have had cancer and they get support and get to have fun and stuff. And the entire team does something for the person who gets the date. So like, there would be a pool party, or the water polo team is making a homemade dinner for the people who win. Ooh. <laughs> nice. good? Alright, let's see. So, it would just, you would bid on something like this. Like, <laughs> I have no idea. Oh my god! So yeah, that's exactly what you're doing. Oh! <laughs> like that! Oh! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You guys think you're interested? <laughs> yeah, I killed that one. <laughs> it's all yours. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> okay. They can dance too. Wow. See? Who knew? Bon appétit. Ooh, that's great. <laughs> this is such a good idea. Oh, it's no, first time. Oh, it smells good. Glad we pulled it off.